I think uh, we can get enough shit done before next time. <laughs> <laughs> both had a nice day? Have you both had a nice day? Yeah, I'm Tricky question. I just uh, have to <laughs> feel if I had a good day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yes, uh, but I woke up uh, in a hotel in another city, so I just got home two hours ago, and I spent oh, okay. one of those hours uh, putting a kid to bed. <laughs> I'd say your evening just got a lot better than you're talking to us now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> his words are saying one thing, his face is saying another. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's a, it's a big grinning moustache. What else can we say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, my moustache. I, I have been such a bad... Uh, Movember uh, member, I feel like. Movember member, that sounded I like really that. awful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know what I mean. Uh, I feel I have not talked about it at all on this podcast. I mean, I talked about it the first week, and then I think I've forgotten to talk about it for like two two weeks. <laughs> Do you know what? Every week I've I've tried to remember to ask you, and I've forgotten as well. Yeah, I mean, it is a limit of how much you can actually spend on talking about facial. No, hair. but I sh- I should remind people that November is going on, and I'm part of Team Shark Attack, and uh, yeah, all the things that November stands for. But I just forgotten, uh, and I, I I mean I have kind of remembered five seconds after we pushed stop on the recording, uh, so it's been. It's something about talking to you guys that makes me forget stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same. So, KJ, how is November going? How's your uh, fundraising going? Uh, it's 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 going. I mean, it's not going to be a record year. Uh, that's for sure, at least, uh, fundraising-wise. Uh, unless it picks up fantastically in the last week. Uh, but we have, uh, I have some, yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, add some donations, which I'm really uh, happy about, of course. But I mean, I, I guess it's, it's probably the economy that people are uh, tighter with their money or something like that, perhaps. Um, yeah, they could do to do November a, a few months before Christmas, couldn't they, to be fair as yeah, well? Yeah, it's, it's not the best <laughs> month for for people to have cash yeah. spending, yeah. But I don't think there's any other month that can be a wordplay on massages and that sort of thing. So as this goes out, we've still got five days left of November, so you've still got a little yes. bit of time to get some more donations in if anybody's feeling generous. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, fingers crossed. Where did they find the link, KJ? Yeah, in the <laughs> podcast description, of course. <laughs> and on your Instagram? And on my Instagram. And yes, uh, and on, uh, of course, uh, Kevin Sharkis' Instagram. And yeah, just it's out there somewhere, probably. Just be, be nice to, uh, uh, to <laughs> be nice to someone. Ask them how they're doing. And, and uh, I mean, do the usual check check stuff out if it's something weird and that sort of thing, uh, because November is all about uh, not having bad stuff happen to you, uh, more or less. Talk to each other, and if something is bulging out on your body, touch it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that. Exactly that. Really? This feels weird. Hmm. Check. Check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so or why are you sounding so much better than the main episode uh i was gonna say i was sleeping but no i'm back uh, at my usual setup not in a piss stinking alleyway <laughs> in italy <laughs> <laughs> i was just gonna say how was rome but i guess you answer that <laughs> yeah no, Rome was nice, but it's always good to come home. Um, so yeah, 
it's nice sitting inside warm quiet yeah having the workshop and then uh the harsh realization that i have stuff to do before christmas and i just spent a week doing everything else so <laughs> So, so yeah. did you get any an inspiration uh, from being away from from everything, or was it just a drag? I did bring my sketch book, but no, um, I did not get any inspiration for anything new, which is which is good because that's just something that could derail me even more. So, but I did. Every time I was going to bed, putting my head on the pillow, it's like thinking about all the projects that uh, need to be done. So, uh, yeah, been hard at work. I just stopped listening then for a second. But... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to distract you. We should, we, should, we, should, we, should, we should tell the listeners it's not an awkward silence, but it's <laughs> everybody's cheering and drinking because <laughs> due to the, the Rome incident... Um, <laughs> we postponed the the half pint recording until a Saturday, so oh, here we are. Even KJ's got a beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, I mean, no one knows how this can end. Um, <laughs> I only bought I only bought one in with me, KJ. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about me. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I got enough for both of you. Uh, of course, I went uh, through the tax-free shop on the way home uh, and figured out I, I don't have enough tonic for all this gin I'm pushing, but <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it How out. How many did you get? I got two bottles. So I got mine nice. and my mother's quota, and she got my cigarettes. So it's a win-win for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> so you got two liters of gin now. Yep, should last, me until, should last me until Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Two bottles of the mother's ruin. Yeah, <laughs> the mother's ruin is that? That's what that's what they used to call it. That's what uh, sent a lot of mums um, over to being alcoholics was gin. Hmm. Probably still is. <laughs> so, <laughs> probably still is. Yeah, yeah. Oval's probably going to join that thing now. He's found a cheap source for gin. All it's got to do is fly abroad. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. in that sense, it's not the cheapest gin I ever bought. But, uh, I mean, it uh, it came after a lot of good food and uh, a lot of drinks. What would um, you go for? I, I, I'm not sure why, but this is... I mean, Nor Norway is uh, all about the binge drinking when abroad and the alcohol is free. And, and sometimes, of course, some something comes back home into our culture. And, of course, I think it was in the 80s, probably one of the fancy movies of the time. Someone was just drinking a Long Island iced tea and then you could buy nothing else in Long Island iced tea in bars. And then that faded away. And I, th I think... Maybe in the 90s, there was like Aperol Spritz craze for some reason here. And then it just went away. But when we went to Rome, it's like, that is everywhere. They're, they have Aperol Spritz dedicated bars. I mean, every bar, every restaurant, every coffee shop. They like, today's offer Aperol Spritz. So, uh, yeah, I had my fair share of that. So I don't need to drink that for the next decade. So, <laughs> so it's it's good to bring some gin home and get things back to normal again, because I'm I'm not having colorful drinks every day. That's I, I'm not physically cut out to be an alcoholic, to be honest. So, <laughs> <laughs> and gin's obviously the perfect one for you to bring back, isn't it? Because your wife doesn't like it, does she? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I'm so pleased with myself, though. I actually remembered to bring a gift this time, not only for the kids, but also the wife. She, I mean, she, she's a brilliant gift giver. And I mean, if you're going over the hedge to the neighbors uh, just to say hi, like, all right, I need, I need to bring a bottle of wine. And then I had the... Uh, I wouldn't say stroke of genius, but it was dumb luck. Like, oh, yeah, I need to get the wife something. And I did. <laughs> How about the so, wine? 
no, actually <laughs> olive oil. So it's uh, oh. like a proper in some hand painted uh, bottle as well. So yeah, nice. nice. And nice. of course the kids. The kids were delighted to see their old man for two seconds before like, where's the gifts? Because I, I said in half a sentence that I, I might bring some gifts home and that's the only thing that's been on their mind for a week. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah, Lily's uh, still the same at 14 when I got back from Norway. I mean, I think I was back for about one o'clock in the morning and somehow Lily was I still managed to wake up when I walked in and said, uh, did you get me a present, Dad? <laughs> Yes, yeah, yes, but I did go back to sleep. <laughs> I mean, that's that's understandable because uh, I've been talking to both her and Michelle. It's like, all right, he's now left. He had four packs of Smash. If it says anything differently, <laughs> he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> You've just made up a lie, which is probably going to get me into trouble. So thanks for that. <laughs> Or was it five? I don't. I'm not remember. <laughs> it was at least four. <laughs> I mean, the first time I went away for real, I think it was first time I went to make a central. Then I got gifts for both the kids, and when I get got home, none of them cared. So I just wow. I just given up, and they're not expecting anything. So. Are you just bad at presents? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Here's a bag of potatoes each, kids. Yeah. And some stickers from some random people you never met. <laughs> no, I got them. Uh, the youngest, uh, a Lego uh, pencil case and some Lego pencils. And he's way into Le- Lego. Yeah. Uh, and the oldest uh, uh, robot uh, model thing. Uh, and you built a robot and used a phone to program it and that sort of thing. Oh, they he sound didn't excellent. Care. He didn't they care about like that. Excellent gifts. <laughs> yeah, I liked them. Yeah, yeah. I would. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, yeah. Well, next time you can bring them to us. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Glenn like your... gifts, yeah. <laughs> I think your kids are faulty, KJ. <laughs> Send them <Yeah>. back. <laughs> uh, I think past the date when you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> In any sense of the meaning. <laughs> I noticed the other day that um, I like to make stuff, made some super cuts and put out on a second channel, Make Stuff TV, I think it's called. And then he put up, uh, a, 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 I think it's a random super cut, or a, it's a 24-7 stream with all the old oh, build wow. videos. So you can go in there and constantly have a, a random build video playing. I don't know okay. if it's just a, a super cut that that is an entire day, or if it's some kind of uh, magical live streaming thingy of taking all the videos. Wow. So, <laughs> that it's kind of an interesting idea. Yeah, yeah, that was. I mean, I I could have VLC playing all my videos, and then I can use OBS to stream that. How many hours is, can you get up to? I mean, you just loop them, so they're just going there permanently. So the question <laughs> yeah, is, yeah, but, how, but how, I mean, how long it... how long live streams are you allowed to have on YouTube? Uh, I don't know. Only one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you upload your videos, you can just scramble them, and we can put up a NCM live feed. Just uh, <laughs> play our videos at random and just stream no. them there. That's not a terrible idea. I, I mean, it's I a haven't... nice way to figure out how this live streaming works without actually having to live stream anything. <laughs> <laughs> the best kind of live streaming, the one you don't have to attend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all went quiet about the live streaming thing, didn't we? We were all keen on Hovar um, starting that because we thought he was an ideal candidate for it, and still do. But then uh, we forgot, we not pressured you. Yeah, I, so, I totally uh, forgot that until yeah. So now. tomorrow, <laughs> Wednesday, Wednesday, half past eight, everyone's yeah. going to be live stream. It's first ever one. <laughs> Live from the bottom of a gym bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but that could be... Uh, all right, none of us has done a live stream. 
I presume. Okay, Jess. So then, yeah. And All right, not, so not you're a real one. Yeah, we could we could make that the episode where we we press record and then we figure it out there and then. <laughs> I think I think we should do um, a live stream on New Year's Day together. I mean, it's it's not a dumb idea, actually. It's not terrible. Let's, let's, so let's think on that until we forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> until, yeah. until February. Wasn't we going to do a lot? Yeah, it's too late now. <laughs> the question is if anyone's interested in listening live. Well, I, was kind of I wouldn't be. It, I was kind of hoping there wouldn't be, so that would take the pressure off. And then, then why do it? <laughs> it's a practice. <laughs> For what? The TV career? <laughs> Maybe. You never know, KJ. Only one video away. <laughs> yeah, keep telling yourself that. <laughs> I don't know. You've been on YouTube too long, mate, now. You've lost all uh, optimism for it all, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might be. When you pass the five-year mark, then you, you're just a <laughs> ball of cynical spite. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but yeah, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. What can we move on to? That's the question. I mean, it, the last few years, I, I've become really fond of Christmas again after a bit of a low uh, of a couple of years. But now I have so much Christmas shit. <laughs> <laughs> that I need to get done before Christmas. That I'm not sure if that's what I want to talk about. <laughs> so it's like, ah, oh, it's this again. I noticed you become very keen on Christmas. I mean, you even kicked off a Christmas special on Bad Audio the other day. <laughs> well, to be fair, I've done that twice in a row now uh, because <laughs> we did talk about Christmas. On the last episode, I kicked off because then we were at that pace where every maker starts panicking about all you need to make for Christmas markets and so on because you have to start in July. And then I thought, oh, that's a good topic. And I forgot about it. And then uh, when I was going to kick off the last <laughs> episode, it's like, oh, I have a brilliant topic. Wait. Yeah, it's a brilliant one because they already done it. So I had to try to find a, <laughs> another twist to it. And I think I did. And it's. It's it's fun to listen to everyone's take on Christmas. And maybe what's most surprising is that everybody seems so normal. I mean, it wasn't anything far out there. Of course, there was variations and some good things to pick up on. But there wasn't someone who's like, yeah, we uh, do this or do that. And you're just like, all right, let's move on. <laughs> so... <laughs> That is good, but yeah, it is. That I'm makes not... you wonder what you actually were expecting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is a cut. Every year we spend Christmas Day naked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's a colorful bunch, and I would not have been batting an eye if someone said that. that all right, every Christmas Day, we just get buck naked with the extended family, and we sit in a sauna, spanking ourselves with... Uh, candy sticks, candy canes. <laughs> yeah, candy canes or whatever. I mean, yeah, fair enough. That's, yeah. But no, <laughs> nothing of that sort. So. <laughs> But that's, damn you guys, that's a, ooh. I would, I mean, I would like to make a candy cane now in wood. I'm trying to figure uh, out how one. do you make that twist with the, the twisting pattern around, but in two different kinds of wood. I mean, that, that's oh. going to get complicated real fast. But how cool would that have been to have an oversized candy cane of, Oak and beach. That, that oh. would be really nice, actually. Yeah. But how would you do that? Hmm. Or yeah. what way would be best to do that? Hmm. Thin laminations. Epoxy. <laughs> yeah, thin laminations. Yeah. 
I just thin laminations around a PVC pipe and <laughs> glue them up and cut them off, and there you go. That's actually not a terrible idea. Yeah, but 3D printed? <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Doing yeah, you can get the wood filament, can't you? Mm-hmm. That's cheating. Yeah, and that I'd... wood filament, it doesn't really look very good yet, no. but... Uh... Would you be able to do the bend in a candy cane with just? I mean, it's it's two different goods with two different properties. So you could glue them together, giving that you you're able to make two helical parts that you can merge together, and then you have to glue it together and then steam it and bend it, and it's going to be a massive ooh failure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that was actually a tricky challenge, that. I'm going to have to think about that. It, it's not going to happen yeah. this Christmas, but... Um... No, I'm, I'm I'm not a good enough woodworker to pull that off, I feel. But it would be really cool to see it. it would... I'm not sure that there are many woodworkers out there good enough to pull that off. No. Mm. But don't worry, I will. I'll show you. <laughs> and that, that's the problem, though, because that's the kind of sh- challenge that made me work on the hell quarter for 10 plus years. Someone said, yeah. uh, no, no, that's not easy. I don't think you're going to pull that off. And here we are. <laughs> yeah, but I, I honestly don't think you could in this case. <laughs> I mean, if the camera was off, I might have fallen right into that one. But yeah. <laughs> But speaking of uh, challenges and twisty stuff, um, I'm at the home stretch now for the the Maui fish hooks. Hmm. I even sat down doing some editing before you got on. But yeah, I got just the last bit where I filmed myself putting the twain on the handles. I might even get them done before the deadline of the scrap wood challenge. Or was um, that yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I saw your Instagram post. Twain, is it not called tw- Twain? I'm not sure. I googled the hell out of that and like, all right, <laughs> uh, this someone called it that. Seems fair enough. So yeah. Ah, oh, fair enough. Yeah. I would have said <laughs> Twain as well, but yeah. I I don't know. Isn't Twain is that the Mark guy, the the writer? <laughs> yeah. I think there used to be a TV program called Never the Twain. I never really knew what it meant. Hmm. Never heard about it. There's a lot of things I don't know what they mean. Yeah. To be fair, don't worry about things like <laughs> yeah. that. You can't I worry neuro. about that too yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not that guy. I don't need to know everything. <laughs> Very happy not knowing. Oh, everything. I, yeah. I wish I was like that. <laughs> oh, no, I think I got over myself when I heard the saying, "Ignorance is bliss." It's like right, <laughs> bliss <laughs> for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get on that bandwagon. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> and you are? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the hooks look uh, really nice in the pictures we've seen, uh, at least. Um, so, yeah. Looking forward to it. I did. Of course, when looking for gifts for the kids, we stumbled into a toy store and they actually had the plasticky ones, the the one that is made probably licensed by Disney, and they are rubbish. So, How I mean, much I, were they? I think you had to part with 30 pounds at least for a cheap plastic one, but it glows because it has a battery in it. But yeah, the uh, build quality is. I, I looked at it and it almost fell apart. So, how much um, is yours worth? Probably twice that. <laughs> but, it's I mean, including, so. including the hourly rate? Yeah. Uh, okay. Without the hourly rates, I might be able to match that. But I mean, <laughs> with paint and uh, that author uh, and. Uh, yeah, all the tools, all right. We don't count tools, of course. So, no, I mean, the, the most expensive part is the paint, uh, having to paint it a couple of times. So, um, but yeah, coming along nicely. But I've, I've learned a lot. Um, and it, it's one of those rare occasions when you, I mean, I watched one of Bobby Duke's video and he, he like painted it white. 
so I did the same thing and then he just spray painted small patches of like brown color and then he wiped off the excess so only uh, the remaining part was in the crevices and that was really quick and dirty and effective and I like I like it <laughs> went out did it and it's I'm not sure if it was too cold outside and too hot inside I mean but as I sprayed it on, it instantly solidified. So I just sprayed like <laughs> some small brown. And once I went to wipe it off, this is not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so luckily I had some white paint left. So I just ran inside and got that half empty rattle can of white and just sprayed over the brown color and it actually dissolved it because it hadn't, hadn't settled enough. So it actually blended oh, in. So it, I actually got very lucky there, but that meant I had to painstakingly paint it in by hand. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like when you're doing one and the kids are like, ooh, are you going to do mine now? Yeah, I'm going to do yours. <laughs> <laughs> so. Cool. Can you get a glow-in-the-dark paint? Yeah, you can. I, yeah. I think uh, Bobby Duke actually did that on one. I think, I mean, he made several... But I'm not going to do that. I mean, you can get the paint, but I'm not painting the same patterns again with uh, <laughs> glowing paint. No commitment. No, not at all. <laughs> ne the next ones are going to be square and done on the CNC. <laughs> But I mean, it is a proper scrap wood build off. So um, I actually got away with some scrap woods, which is nice. Nice. Yeah. I actually went to the cinema today for the first time in God knows how many years. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Which one? Which the... I mean, not which cinema. <laughs> which, which cinema? Movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one on the corner. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, that one. The one showing movies. <laughs> Yeah, we went to see Red One, the new Christmas movie with uh, the rock in it. Don't know about it. Um, no. Do you not? Nope. It's actually fantastic. It's not the best Christmas movie, but it is very, very good. Very, very good. I recommend it. The Red One, you say? Yeah. Or just Red One, it might be called. I mean, it's going to be... It's going to be far down on my list. I actually have... That's talking polar bears. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have... I think we are now ha up to four large boxes of Christmas decorations. And in one of them, uh, under the lid, there is a list of Christmas movies. And uh, I update that every year. So I think we have somewhere along 30 movies on that list and every year we sit down and all right how many of those can we get through and i mean the, the, for the last couple of years i, th I think we've seen two or three movies <laughs> so but it's a damn good list <laughs> but I, I don't think red is going to be on it uh, i don't think we're going to see that one this year so mm. maybe if the hype is hype enough we might see it next year J.K. Simmons as Santa. Uh, it looks like on the posters. So that seems fun. But no, I haven't hadn't heard of it at all. No, I, I think we're gonna try and introduce the kids to Home Alone this year. Um, it, <laughs> the ultra violence should be up their alley. And I mean, it is a Christmas <laughs> movie. I mean, haven't they seen it yet? Because me and the wife actually had that discussion yesterday because it was on in the background. And like, when are the kids old enough to? I mean last year <laughs> but yeah there is there is some segments i mean i i had nightmares for weeks of that oven in the cellar i mean i i did not go down to our cellar before someone went down there and turned the lights on especially <laughs> around christmas so um uh... yeah it might be that part i mean there are parts that are pretty scary in it so but yeah the the extreme violence, as I said. That but then will, again, the most yeah, extreme people. violence I saw at that time, at that age, was Tom and Jerry, right? I mean, your kids, they have probably played <laughs> video games far <laughs> superseding yeah. anything they're going to see in Home Alone. When did Home Alone come out? What year? 
1990 90s. something. I think it's, it's over 30 years, or if it is 30 years. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Has to be. Just uh, pause for a quick Google. Yeah. Silent Hill, 1990. 1990. Yeah. I was I was 15. Yeah, I was nine. I was like the perfect <laughs> age, I think. But that being said, though, I I heard the. I mean, the movie was on in the background last night. I was painting the fish hooks and my wife was uh, puzzling a puzzle. And then... Just a regular night. Yeah, just a regular house. night. <laughs> and then, of course, I did not see the screen, but I, I knew exactly what was going on just by the dialogue. And it's like, as a kid, of course, you you were all about Kevin. And of course, yeah, that would have been cool. Home alone, you can do everything. And... I'm a parent now, and it's like when you hear the the grown ups in that movie and her mother, it's like I almost feel like picking up the phone and like yeah, child protective services. Yeah, I, I have a <laughs> anonymous call. I would like to. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, that's some questionable parenting in that movie. <laughs> And they can't be stupid either, those parents. They appear to be doing quite well for themselves with the big house, don't they, and whatnot as well. Yeah. You know, that that's you one think? of the that's the fun things being an adult and because now you have a lot of conspiracy theories. What is he actually doing? And I think the majority now is on his in the part of the mafia because they are living in a city uh, with a lot of crime. And of course, <laughs> he doesn't talk very much about job, but it's 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 the head of the family, and they're going on vacation, and he's paying for everything. And my, when people are talking about it, like yeah, it makes sense. He's into organized crime for sure. <laughs> I mean, you have that house, you don't have an alarm system, and yeah, we have a light switch turning it on and off. I mean, that's because they don't expect anyone being dumb enough to try and rob that house because <laughs> that's the head honcho of some. Uh, <laughs> That's a good theory. I mean, yeah. I, I just thought with that that family that it was some kind of fertility doctor, uh, <laughs> because that's too many kids. Uh, <laughs> that's also a fair assumption, yeah. Yeah, yeah but I mean, the Home Alone and uh, National Lampoon's uh, Christmas Vacation both set a weird standard for what a dream house would be in my mm. mind. I always wanted one of those extremely big American mansion style houses uh, especially when you have um, have the stairs with, with a big uh, two floor open space and yeah. stairs on both sides and that sort of thing that extreme American style <laughs> uh, I always just wanted a castle a, a castle castle like in made of stone yeah I mean, the heating on that would be terrible. Well, you know, it's gonna, I've got to stump up a bit of cash to buy it in the first place as well. <laughs> yeah, but, get the but I mean, if, you, if, you, spec. if you use all your cash once you saved up for the a pile of rubble, then of course you don't have enough for heating. But I mean, stone houses, I mean, they, they keep cool in the summertime and they, they retain heat in the winter. So it's not that bad, but I, I, I just came from a city who lives on rubble and brick houses basically and nope that's not for me i, I wouldn't hire a italian uh, carpenter to build my house <laughs> <laughs> you weren't very impressed with the workmanship there then i mean yeah the, the workmanship is great i guess but i did not see a wooden structure for the entire stay but i mean some of the well, some of the structures there has been for several hundred years. I mean, yeah, it's a good craftsmanship, but uh, no, stone is not for me, and uh, at least not the limestone part. I mean, you could actually carve your name into any wall with a toothpick, so I, I don't think it would have stood for very long up in our climate. So no castle for me then. Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, if you had a castle, it'd be made out of granite, wouldn't it, in Norway? Yeah, yeah, most likely. You'd more than a toothpick, then, wouldn't you? Yeah. Still, though, I mean, yes. Did I? I do think I want. No, I didn't want to castle at one point, but I, I liked. I mean, there's several Swedish movies with castles in them, and one of them was uh, Ronja, the the robber's daughter. The robber's daughter, yeah. yeah. They had a castle, but 
I was just into his daughter, so <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I could have lived in any house. Yeah. Living there. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted a moat more than the castle. I'd quite like a moat, just because then I could put fish in it. <laughs> just sit on a drawbridge fishing in the. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? That's, co- that's called a pond. <laughs> We've already had this debate about yeah. on ponds and lakes. But I mean, I, I'm more fascinated, and maybe that is because I love the Pink Panther movies, not the cartoon, but the one with uh, Jack Clouseau or whatever it's called. Uh, when you tried Pink going, Sons. yeah, going over that moat with a, like a drawbridge. I wanted a drawbridge at one point, not a castle, and just enough moat that I could have a drawbridge. <laughs> But you're supposed to have like crocodiles or alligators in the in the moat, I think, not fish. Yeah, but that's really cool to fish for alligators as well. So the uh, monasteries that used to have moats or lakes used to keep fish in it. They used to have carp in there, and that's because they bred them there for food. That so, sounds reasonable. But yes, I mean, it's quite sensible, isn't it? Really. <laughs> yes, but have you seen the toilets of castles? It's basically yeah. just an overhang in a hole, so they're just shitting down their own walls, and that ha- that ends up in that moat. I- I'm not eating carp. Fish food, it's called. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you've been you've been eating vegetables for years that have been fed on that over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Doesn't that ring true to your fish farming you have in Norway? <laughs> is that more or less the same no, thing? No, no. I mean, uh, de- <laughs> denial is very much a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shitting in a fish farm. That's, <laughs> that's bad. Well, I think we're going to need to wrap this up pretty soon, boys, because uh, I've run out of beer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's only half pint, so, I mean, we're not going to sit here and waste content on something that can't be an episode. Yeah, I'm not going to do a half pint with no pint. <laughs> <laughs> Should we tease next episode? Oh, yes. Go on. No, you do it. <laughs> you were excited. Go on. Keep that energy. <laughs> I was excited to get another drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so so I'm, we've got to... I'm guessing you're teasing the lamp along then? <laughs> No, you're too too far in the future. Oh, okay. Too far <laughs> Come back to this side of New Year. <laughs> Wowzer. That was a skip ahead. <laughs> fine. Fine. <laughs> yeah, next week we've got a guest coming on. Woohoo! We've got Andy Cormorant Craft Moira joining us. That's going to be nice. a blast. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to it because I sent him the message and said, uh, do you want to be on the uh, podcast? And the first response I got back was FFS. <laughs> <laughs> in a good way or a bad way there was a laughy face after it so okay, yes. in a good way <laughs> I think it's something his name was coming but was a little bit nervous about it but uh, I'm so excited for his uh, big introduction that he's going to do <laughs> <laughs> oh you're so kind <laughs> That, that that's a funny thing though because that rumor is truly traveling ahead so any guest we have on is like oh that's a dreaded intro yeah. <laughs> people turning us down just because they don't want to do an intro yeah <laughs> just for any future guests we do invite by the way we uh, you don't have to do the intro we've never forced anybody it's not a deal breaker <laughs> but i'm gonna be a bit disappointed if you don't try Oh, yeah, we're all going to be disappointed and hate you, but... (laughs) (laughs) Now, hate is a strong word, I have been told. (laughs) Oh, come on, let's get out of here. (laughs) Yeah, go refill your glass. Have a good one. Bye. 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 Bye.